Hey everyone, I'm Josiah and this is Job Tracking in Fulcrum. I'm excited to show this to you today because this is the interface for the shop floor. It's for machinists and operators and wellers to know what to do, how to do it, and when to get it done. Um, if I'm coming here, um, the first thing I'm thinking about is what do I need to do for the day? So this is a queue of every job in the entire shop. I'm going to filter to laser because that's the work center that I'm in. And I can see that this job 1000 is high priority and needs to be done by tomorrow. So let's start it. We're now inside of the job tracking interface. I'm going to go ahead and click play right away so that we are able to track the time and have that live data pump into the rest of the system. Here I'm seeing the actual versus the estimate of 30 minutes for how long this job is going to take. I can review details on the job. I can see, oh, actually there's a note from somebody and it looks like this is a new lot. So something could be wrong with the material. Cool, thanks. So let's go to pick the material and we're gonna pick it from this new lot, A3 number 14, and we need one. So pick, and when we do that, it's automatically depleting the inventory from the rest of Fulcrum. So purchasers and anybody who's monitoring inventory, like on hand inventory levels, uh, will see that we just used one of those pieces. So that's our setup and we can pause that and now we're moving on to labor. Here we can review the file more, and then if something goes wrong, we'll know that we can scrap it here really easily and we can rework it or we can create an NCR. During the operation, you may want to set checkpoints um, to make sure that you're retaining the highest quality possible. Some could be like, you know, a drawing review or you could set ranges of tolerance. So this one's supposed to be two centimeters, but it's okay if it's in between two and three. Um, so we'll say we measured it and it was 2.5 and this one's going to be supposed to be six centimeters, but between five and seven. So uh, what happens when we say eight? Oh, it's flagged and it's out of tolerance. So if that happened, I would want to go and scrap that material. Say I scrapped one, select, you know, it was uh, it was a defect. We had that new lot and um, and then click plus. So now that is automatically going to send to the production manager. So it's all about empowering the shop floor with the right communication they need to do the job. So this is job tracking. It's really simple. It's intuitive. And uh, it's just meant to empower operators and machinists. So um, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>